Hey, Dave here from FunGreetingCardBusiness.com and today I want to teach you how to find out what type of greeting cards people actually want to buy using keyword research. I get several thousand people a month to my websites completely for free looking to buy greeting cards and the way they find my site is through keyword research. So I'm going to teach you how to do it uh, in this video. So here we go. Actually, before we begin, if you would, please rate and leave a comment on YouTube for me and uh, just let me know what you think about it. If you'll do that for me, I will actually answer three, any three questions you have about keyword research completely for free. You can contact me at Fun Greeting Card Business. Just fill out the, uh, the form and I will answer any three questions you have. Hopefully you'll enjoy this video, but uh, please do that for me. Let's go and get started. All right, first of all, you want to find out what the demand is for what you want. You can't just have a good idea, or I should say you shouldn't have a good idea, you know, just think you have a good idea and don't do any research. You really want to find out what people want. And even as I'm shooting this video, there are people sitting at their computer typing in keywords and phrases related to greeting cards from romantic greeting cards to you know Christmas cards to birthday cards that type of thing in fact here's a little screenshot if you look on the left column those just you know a few of the phrases people are actually typing in if you look over on the right column uh, you'll see you know tons of numbers that's actually how many times these keywords are typed in per month it is insane and that's just this is just a very very small list okay I just you know want to show you guys what it actually looked like all right, once you find the demand, you want to research your competition and, and see what they're about. Now, I don't care about the 5,300,000 results that pull up, as you see that number right there. I only care about actually the top 10 results, okay? Those are the people that are actually ranking and getting the traffic. If you're not on page one of Google for your keywords, you're not going to get any traffic. So here's what I do. I look for... The, you see the PR column, the pink column on the right hand side. What I do is I look, I type in my keyword in my keyword tool. And by the way, you can download the same one that I'm using uh, right now, right below this video. You can see a link and you can go use it and, and do what I'm doing right here. But basically, I look at the top 10 sites and I'll add up all the numbers in the pink column right there. I'll add them up and divide by 10. And if it's a three or a less, then it's a good keyword to go after. Okay, if it's three or less, uh, then it's a good keyword to go after. And so you just add them all up and divide by ten, and that's how you do it. All right. So you might be thinking, all right, what's what's the next step? Well, here's what you do. Step one. You always got to have action steps. So here's your action steps. Step one: download the free version of Market Samurai from the link below. That's step one. Okay. Now here's a bonus little tip for you. Watch the four free how-to videos they have. They're really good and they'll go way more in depth than I am, but it's not real geeky or anything, so you'll be able to understand it, but just go ahead and watch that. Number two, find 20 keywords that have a demand of at least 200 or more searches. And actually, a sweet spot is really a thousand to five thousand monthly searches. That's just an extra little tip right there. That's a good sweet spot where it's not too competitive, but there are searches. Step three, make sure the average PR of each phrase is three or less. And actually, I said that wrong. Uh, the average PR of Oh yeah, the average PR of the top 10 sites. Yeah, I did say that right. The average PR of the top 10 sites is three or less, just like I taught you before. Remember, we only care about the top 10 results, okay? So just remember that. And there you go. That is actually uh, how you do supply and demand, okay? Your competition and... Uh, you can learn if people are interested in it. If you got questions about it, like I said, if you'll rate me and, and leave a comment, then you can contact me and I'll be more happy to answer you. And by the way, if you want more videos like this, you can get more free videos about making a thousand to five thousand a month with greedy cards by going to fungreetingcardbusiness.com. All right, take care and God bless.